Hey, Kirsten. Nice to see you. Hi, Lorraine. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Wendy. Nice cakes tonight. Hi, Sandra. I am back home. Yes. Hi, Alison. Yeah, got back late last night. So, yeah, I am home, which is amazing and lovely. And it's been absolutely fantastic to spend some real good time with my dad. But um, I've missed my desk, is all I'm going to say. And your husband. Uh, yeah, and the cats. Oh, well, they missed me, didn't they? They did. They, would, they ignored Mark. Yeah, so little I, I little blighters. I didn't see them. I know. Terrible. <laughs> Hi, Deb. So, yeah, it's really good to be home. So today I've been doing all sorts of, like, catching up and looking at a million and one boxes that have now taken over the house while I've been away and um, trying to tidy up my desk, which is a terrible mess. Oh, <laughs> Lorraine, do you know what? <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I'm. Yes, you can. Yes, all bow down and worship, please. Do you know what? I, I, oh my goodness me. I, um, I'll tell you the story actually, if you like. I, Jen, dad's great actually. I've literally just been talking to my brother, um, who's going to go and stay with dad on Friday, which is lovely. Um, and dad's doing good. He's actually noticing a, a difference with his eyesight because I mean, you can't imagine, can you? Well, I'm sure if this has happened to you, you know, but you know, like losing your eyesight um, and not being able to see to do stuff. Dad can't even like, um, you know, read packets and stuff for when he's cooking. And we were sat um, in the kitchen uh, the, the day after his op and, um, He'd looked up the up the the road at the because Dad lives out in the country and the next house along is what five five hundred yards. It's quite a long yeah, way off. Is it about, that, about half? A, is it half a, half a mile? About half a mile away. And Dad said, "Oh, oh!" He said, "Look, they've painted they've painted lines around the chimney pots." And he hadn't seen it before, so that was really cool. So, um, yeah, it's all going really well. Um, uh, he's he's doing his well. No, I've done his drops. He's not very good at putting drops in. That's the understatement of the century, actually. <laughs> um, but he has managed today. Uh, so my sister's over tomorrow. So, yeah, it'll be good. It'll be good. Um, so, hi Sue. Hi Mary. Hi Margaret. Hi Kelly. Hi Anne. So yeah, I'll tell you. I'll tell you the story, shall I? About like right last Thursday, I knew the the graphic forty five stuff. Um, you know, was going to be announced, and I have to say um, that we didn't know anything ahead of time. We didn't know. I mean, if I've been on a design team before, you you've you've been told uh, before they announce it, and uh, that wasn't the case with graphic forty five, which was absolutely terrifying. Uh, and of course, on Thursday morning, dad had had his op. So I was busy with that. And I knew that um, in Oregon, they are eight hours behind us here in the UK. So I knew it wouldn't be early. But of course, once, you know, sort of like nine o'clock Oregon time rolled around, um, I'm refreshing and refreshing and, and nothing's happening. And dad's gone to bed and it's game late. And I thought, well, I'll go to bed too, but I'm not going to sleep. And it was weird, of course, because I was at dad's i wasn't i wasn't here with mark so um so uh i'm on my phone right i'm on my phone and uh i see on facebook that it's been announced so i'm shaking and i pressed the um the the the, the link to take you to the blog and it says and, and these are the people and this is uh this is in alphabetical order so i'm there and i'm shaking and i'm just going up like really really slowly like this because i didn't dare look because i was so terrified and uh, and it says anna from iceland i was like yeah 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 good and then then there was b and then i just i can't look i can't look i can't look and then i was just like just like so so slow so so and it's cal summers oh my god wrong mark facetime mark and i couldn't even talk could i oh, like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> i was a little bit emotional because joking aside this is something that i have wanted personally for so many years and i'll be honest with you i have been too scared to go for it i have been too frightened to go and if it wasn't for the likes of mark and sue cass bully <laughs> pushing me in the right direction 
it wouldn't have happened so you can thank them because I thank them hugely because because I was too chicken. So there we go. So it's really exciting. And I know roughly um, what, uh, you know, what's what, what I'm going to be doing over the next year. Uh, it's so beautifully organized. I'm so, so excited, uh, you know, just to, to have a look at the, you know, the sort of things that we're going to be doing. And um yeah, I, I, obviously, you guys, you know what? I know, I know it's me that's going to have to do the work, but you're on this team with me, and I will, but you know, tell you what's going on um, where I can every step of the way, and tell you, you know, um, we'll we'll do it together, shall we? I think, I think, uh, yeah, I think that would be good, um, and I'm so excited, so excited. Right, okay, so, um, okay, where are we? We are bees. Oh. Would you like, before we start the bees, right, tomorrow in Crafting Together with All Brands, you know we're still working on our box of delights, this this one. I've just about finished the folio. Do you want to see it? Because it is bloody huge. It's massive. I'll do a proper video because I haven't quite finished all of the millions of photo maps that, of course, we need. Oh, um, do we get extra sneak peeks if we're very good? Oh, I don't know about that. I don't even know if I do. We'll see. Um, so yeah, so uh in in the um what's it, where am I? The, yeah, the Crafting Together with All All Brands group, uh, we needed the folio to go in our box of delights box, and look how big it is, and I haven't even finished it yet. It's absolutely massive. Uh so I mean obviously mine's decorated up to match the um papers that i've used and it's, it's not quite finished but it, it it is huge we might have to extend it a little bit okay so you open it up i need to think of a way to get that stop that doing that uh so you, we open it up and we've got um sort of it's sort of symmetrical but not quite these bits are symmetrical uh and we've got these two flaps here with sort of like removable um photo mats Okay, and then those flaps open up and you've got flaps here and lots of flaps, Lorraine, you'll love it. Uh, photo mats and then um, on this side, a, a photo mat. And then this side, we've got a stacked pocket here and then we've got a really, really big um, photo mat space there. So let me just fold that back up and then it's the same on this side. So that that, like I said, that's symmetrical okay and you can fold it whichever way you like really it doesn't matter uh and then um you open it up and the back is actually slightly bigger than than this bit so if you open it up um we've got two slightly different bits here but these two bits they're the same um hold on what am i doing here i'm getting all tangled up so needless to say we've got uh you know my favorite but these, this is a five by seven. This isn't a six by four. It's a five by seven. And we've got two of those because, uh, you know, lots of room for photos because why not? And then these two middle pieces, like I said, these are actually um, slightly different. In, this is an inch wider than this one. So they are slightly different. So what we've got here is we've actually got a removable um, photo mat thingy here. It's got a couple of uh photo mats here in a pocket and that pocket there uh, has got a couple of little photo mats in it um and then there's a when that slips into this pocket here um there's another photo mat that goes in there like that this is actually on a flap so when you open it up that way you've got another uh, big photo mat so i haven't quite finished this off uh yet yet nice. but you get the idea and then this one um what we've got is we've got a, a big photo inserty pockety thing there uh, which goes in here so i haven't quite finished this bit um i'm going to put do some more um of these little photo mats to go in there some of the cutter parts that then flaps up and you've got this pocket here but as like i said that's not quite finished but it nearly nearly is so it's gonna it's it's huge is what it is it's it's absolutely massive this one um, and that fits let me show you into our oh sorry just hit me Ooh. camera that fits into there hold on oh 
I need to move the camera up, I think. That move that fits in here like this. Oh dear, I think it's too thick. Okay, so you get the idea. I probably shouldn't have put all those 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 um mm. Yeah, I'll have to take those flowers off. I think that's what's causing the trouble. So, yeah, I'll take the flowers off. But anyway, it does. It all fits in there. And, uh, oh, I need to finish that bit. So, anyway, you get the idea. So, that's what we'll be doing tomorrow night. We're going to start off on that big um, that big folio. So, I'll take some photos in the morning when I've got some light. And I'll put a resources list up. Uh, but needless to say, it takes loads and loads Lots. of card. Mm -hmm so uh right so what we're doing tonight we're going to get on with the b book buzz okay. buzz flapulous that sounds like oh i don't know uh so where are we we've done this page we've done that page we've done that page we're going to do this page next so we'll do this page and then i want to make my little um photo mats to go in there so i did have a cutting guide at some point Except I've lost it. Oh no, it's here. So let me see. I've got my. Jen says hi. Hi, Jen. So I've got my pages. Oh, I didn't decorate that one up. Okay, so that one, that one, and that one. So I need my base page. Where's my fourth base page? You can tell I haven't been here for a week. I can't find anything. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so I've got my fourth base page. So we need to make these flaps that go on there like that. Okay. And as you can see, what I've done is they're slightly offset from each other. And these um, little sort of, uh, rectangles, they're up on um, some of the, the grey board just to give it a little bit of depth and then I've just got some more fussy cut bits so that is what we are going to do next mm -hmm. so there's my base let me have a look for my card there we go right okay so first of all let's cut those little those little pieces which are what size these are going to be four and five eighths by three and one eighth so three and one eighth two of those yeah, so two of those are three and one eighth by four and five eighths. Okay. Do you know, it feels like forever since I've been here. Hi, Tammy. Oh, hi, Kari. Hi, Millie. Right. That to one side. Grab my thingy, this thing. Scoreboard. And we're going to score on the four and five eighths inch side. So that's the four and five eighths of an inch at the top. Yes, this is the craft card stock, Kimberly. I'm going to score at half an inch. Okay, on both. Couldn't be easier. I've lost my little boner. I have. Now, question. Where have I just put my pages? Oh, there they are. Have I? Oh, yes, I have. Just wondering if I'd um, rounded the edges. So I'm just going to fold on those. I'm going to round my edges. I am going to grab 
grab my ooh, big boner because I don't know where my little one is. Let's give that a right good thingy. What's it? What's it? And here's my page. Now, my page has got the opening to the left. It's got the flap on it already. And we're going to put one of these at the top like that. And we're going to put the other one with the flap at the bottom. So we're going to need to kind of, they're not going to fit exactly. So we need to kind of, um, you know, leave a, leave a bit of a gap. So there's going to be a little gap at the top and the bottom and then in the middle just a little one it's not much it's about an eighth of an inch each way okay so i don't know if you can see we've got little little gaps there now i asked mark to bring me some glue up which he did but now i need to poke it with your with my pokey tool which i nearly lost whilst i was away because dad decided it was a really great piece of kit and he wanted one with the wooden handle mm -hmm. trouble is i can't remember where i got it Right, so some glue on the flap. Ooh, got glue on there. And now I'm going to pop that on opposite sides. Let's just make sure that it's looking equal and straight. There we go. Okay, so it's going to be, it's going to open like that. Couldn't be easier. Okay. So now we're going to decorate. So this, as you know, will fit a six by four photo. Where's my ruler? I've just had it. I've just been using it for something. Here it is. I can't remember. Four and a half by six and a half, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So what have I got? Let's have a look. Four and a half. That's going to go there. That's going to go there. So I'm going to want a light one, really, aren't I? What have I got? Let's have a look. So I look for a lighter one. That's quite nice. Pearlized. That's nice too. And that one. But that one's got that nice laminated side. Decisions, decisions. Oh, so it's either going to be that one or that one. I might use this one because I haven't. Oh, no, I'm going to use this one. So I am going to cut, I think, all of these pieces. Out of so what did I say? Six and a half by four and a half.
Okay. Did I ink my edges? I don't think I did, did I? No. Just checking before I get going. Right, so let's glue these down. So that's going to go on there. <coughs> I haven't cut that at all the right size. Can anybody tell me why? Let's try again. Because I cut it at four and a quarter for some reason, best known to myself. You're a no no. I am. Thank goodness there is loads and loads. And loads. Of, uh, See if I've done that any better. Second time. Yeah. Okay. Oop. It feels like a lot longer ago than a week when we did this last. Was it? No, it wasn't. You didn't. Oh, yeah, you did do it last week. We did do, yeah. Yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. That was a week ago. Oh, my goodness. Wow. I am concentrating. I've got my tongue between my teeth. Oh, and as uh, the rain has just reminded, another bank holiday this weekend. Yes, it is. And I, I took Yes. But I've, I've got plans for you, dear, so don't worry. Oh. Mm -hmm. No, no, you're not going to like it. No. I'm just a normal guy. We've got... Um, We've got the International Scrapbook Day retreat um, first weekend in May. So that's a week, a week this weekend. So are you guys um, celebrating? What are you? What are you doing? If you're not coming to me for International Scrapbook Day, what are you doing? Have you got any big plans? Is that next weekend? Not this coming weekend, the weekend no, after. The next one, yeah. yeah. I've cut that too short as well. What the heck is wrong with me? Yeah, it's a practice day. I don't want that one. I don't like it. I've cut that one too short too. No. What on earth am I doing? Ellie says that she's just popping in to say hi. Hi, Ellie. I'll see you next weekend, won't I? That'll be good. There are some spare kits for the um, classes for uh, International Scrapbook Day. Um, which I will put in the shop in due course. Um, there are there's four scrapbook layouts and two mini books. Now I know you've already seen one of the mini books, which is is this one. Um, but um, this one I need to just um, photograph. Actually, it's not quite finished. But this is this is the other uh, mini book. This is going to be our Sunday afternoon class, um, and I've used um, Market Garden. Is it? Uh, so, so, so it's not quite finished yet. Uh, I've still got a couple of bits just to to add into it, um, but these these papers and things are just so lovely. Um, so yeah, 
that's uh, that just needs finishing off and a few photos taking of that and that will be our other our other class so if you want a kit for um the weekends classes keep an eye out i'll let you know when i'm going to put them in the shop um no of any i haven't got many of them at all oh right okay right so now what i'm going to do is i am oh what have i just knocked off oh my glue into a packet of crisps well done uh right so we've got these little um rectangles which are three and a half by two and a half so i'm going to use some of my little leftover pieces bye ellie she's going to read oh i know what she's going to read yeah it's my fault well it's not entirely she started it i just recommended that she reads the books and not just watches the the video the film right Very good recommendations at best. Well, yeah. You have to tell everybody what you're reading now, Ellie. Yes, I'm. Good choices, I would say, after having read them myself. on there oh i saw my friend vicky earlier today and uh you guys will get to know Vicky because um, our next oh. coffee and a chat is with it, um, this book is it um, what's his face? Hey, eh? what's his the, face? In a wheelchair. No, 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 no. Little bit older. Um, yeah, so I saw my friend Vicky earlier, and um, Vicky is going to be doing coffee and a chat with Cal. I think it's the tenth of May, um, and I, I can't wait. Actually, it's going to be loads of fun. So make sure you've got that date in your diary because Vicky makes the most unbelievable um, junk journals, but they're not junk journals. They're so much more. Uh, and I would thoroughly recommend you have a look at her work, which is um, her page is the Bijou Book Nook. Um, absolutely incredible stuff. Why can't I find any grey board? It's because I had a tidy up, isn't it? Oh, here's some. That's just before her birthday. Oh, 
We do, yeah, it's Rachel's soon, isn't it? Is. My daughter, yeah. Rachel, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And then we've got we've we've put class back, haven't we? Um six uh, six by six Sunday is being put yeah, back to to um the fifteenth of May. Mm. Uh, rings a bell yeah. it'll be how it how many years since i had my operation <laughs> it's mark's birthday on the 15th of may and i'm terrible with dates i'm just terrible and then um, i had to have quite a major operation a few years back and uh mark had come with me to see the consultant and um he uh he says on well, 15th of may i said yeah no worries and i'm thinking i know that date for some reason but i can't quite figure out why but i know, I know it for some reason and mark never said a word right. never said a word it's jane's, uh, jane's birthday that's it, on the 15th wow oh yeah and kimberly oh wow you're all flipping tauruses stubborn stubborn that can't be right there can't be four of us with the same birthday no way no way all of you oh my god right rachel's a taurus you're a taurus you lot of tauruses this is oh I'm honestly that's weird i know that's four what? of us <laughs> i'm sure there's probably more I mean, the, the statistics are if there's 23 people in a room, there's 50% chance to share the birthday. And Jen's daughter. Persistent. That's not a word I'd use, Kimberly. Hmm. What would you use, dear? Huh? What would you use, dear, if certain people weren't in the room? Uh, I'm just looking for my um, bits to fussy cut here. Oh. Her husband's May the 14th, Kari's, and grief. the guy who introduced them is May the 13th. Well, Rachel's May the 7th, Mark's May the 15th. Anne says hello. Hi, Anne. And she's a Sagittarius. That's the best one. When's yours? I am. I'm Sagittarius, Anne can't bear to be tied down and stuck in one place for too long hint 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 oh, just come back to that's no 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 that was not not no the rains gemini oh gemini's gemini's and sagittarians get on very well apparently um Jen is uh, December the 13th. December the 13th. Anne's December the 2nd. My mum was December the 8th and I'm December the 21st. Winter solstice, best day of the year. Ah, oh, well, that's interesting, do you say, about being a Capricorn? Because I was born on the day that Sagittarius finishes and Capricorn starts, which means I have a very, very serious side. Millie, look at that. Her dad is May the fifteenth, and her brother is May the seventh. Wow! <laughs> so that's you and that's you and Rachel. Oh wow! That that? This is spooky. Who right. knew? Oh, it's very well, we spooky. Do. Well, yeah, we know now. Oh. What a thing! I know. Small world, isn't it? I can't find that B. Millie's July the 19th. I don't know anybody with birthday in July. My brother's June the 18th. That's that one, isn't it? Which, which if you knew my brother, would make perfect sense. <laughs> well, my family covers half the year, so... Well, yeah, you have got quite a big group of siblings. Well, I'm pretty sure none of us have got the same month. Yeah. 
Jay. It's maybe 11th, but she shares with two work colleagues. Wow. <laughs> Right, okay, so let's have a look at this. Let's do a bit of fussy cutting. Yay! Take my glasses off so I can see what I'm doing. We've got no match. Oh, where is he? He's on the bed. Oh, is he? Yeah, I'm waiting for cuddles. He had cuddles at lunchtime. Yeah, I know we have. Um, see that is December the 19th which is another date with, Ooh, um, that's our wedding anniversary so I can remember that yeah. and their granddaughter is May the 26th Ooh. Francis shares hers with the stepmother and auntie wow And my mum and dad's wedding anniversary and my brother's wedding anniversary. They're all December as well. My niece was born on Christmas Day. Oh, yeah. My one niece well, is one December the 28th, niece. which is mum and dad's wedding anniversary. Oh, Lorraine's uh, sister got married uh, the 19th of December. It's a good day. It was a good day. Anne's parents were December the 26th. December the 28th, my parents. <laughs> Kathleen says hers is the first of June, and it's very nice of the Queen to give an extra day's holiday as it's <laughs> her 65th, and the hangover could be big. Oh, yeah, it's nice when things, uh, when you get recognised by the Queen for such things. Kirsten, my, uh, my granddaughter's due date is July the 19th, and if they hadn't already called their dog Millie, <laughs> I would have called her Millie. Well, you can call a dog and a child the same thing. Millie's a really nice name. I like Millie. Yeah. I reckon if we, well, no, if we had a son, I wouldn't call him. I know that we won't, but if we did have had, if we would have had, Max is a great name. Yeah. Or Zach. Yeah, well, Max was going to be Zach, wasn't he? he was. Until you started calling him Max. Yeah, for some reason, he yeah. I don't know. Oh, well, your idea. I haven't named any of our cats. No, actually. How about Ruby? Oh, well, Ruby. Ruby was an interesting one because I thought Ruby was a boy because she was ginger, because which is a perfectly reasonable thing to think, actually. 80% of ginger cats are boys. Yeah. Um, I was going to call her Hamish. What happened there? But she turned out to be a girl, and, and, and it was when the Kaiser Chiefs had got Ruby, Ruby, Ruby out, and Rachel and I were driving over Canic Chase, and this was way before I met you, so I don't know what we were doing over here. I have absolutely no idea. Um, so we, we we were driving over, over the Canic Chase, and they played Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. So I said to Rach, wouldn't that be a good name? for the cat because ruby was a stray you see she decided to come and live with rachel and i i had no choice in it um you just got to do what these cats tell you uh and yeah so yeah d was born on friday the 13th oh excellent uh and jen's anniversary changed from april 16th when she got married to october the 21st happy divorce day oh <laughs> the rain had a cat called ruby Ruby's a great name for a cat. Especially a ginger cat. Yep. She was a nice cat. She was a lovely cat. She loved her mummy. Well, sort of. She... In charge, Ruby. Yes. Very much an in charge yes. cat. Alpha cat. Yeah. It 
than Max would have just stood a chance. Well, he wouldn't, but Max doesn't win against Storm, Storm and he's twice her size. He came down last night with a big tuft of fur hanging right. off his <laughs> he did. chest. Yeah. <laughs> she soon puts him in his place. And at lunchtime, he um he jumped on the bed and Storm was on there and he went went for her. And I'm thinking, you just don't learn, do you? Just you're not gonna win it, so why even try? Why are you fussy cutting? I am fussy cutting, why? Yeah. We're making a book and talking about cats. Cats and birthdays and anniversaries. And, 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 and kids' names. And... Kids' names. Uh, Kirsten's uh, rooting for Ellie for her granddaughter. Oh, well, he's lovely name. I'm sure we know her name. Do we? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. We could. I'm not sure. Uh, my brain yeah, gets. Words on the screen, tell me how you spell them. Yeah, there's logic. Have you spelled them on my trust to the Oh, I don't know. Well, Do you? <sighs> yeah, I, I can spell that. Right, so I'm just cutting out some honeycombs. She's a what now? Terrible speller. I'm all right until spell check gets involved, or no, not or not spell check. Incorrect. Yeah, gosh, that doesn't half cause me some grief. Well, I should take more notice of, of it before yeah, send I send messages. And you think, oh. That's what I'll do. And then notice all the auto incorrects. Yeah, because I'm actually quite good at spelling, but you wouldn't believe it reading some of my messages in my emails. I do like this honeycomb paper. Nice. It's very nice. I should have done it the other way around. It's going to be dark on there now, isn't it? Oh, it'll do. Jen just proven a point. What's that? She typed my texture, my texture, terrible. Good thing most people can read, decipher them anyways. And then she's put underneath texts. <laughs> <laughs> funny. Oh, that's uh, quite, um, quite funny. Right, let's make sure I've got these the right way around. So I'm just going to just double check that my uh, my page is to the left, and uh, let's. Let's put let's put this together. So I'm going to put odds and ends of it up onto um, 
some grey board because why not? Oh, Margaret had a terrible situation when spell check change does to dies. Oh, she was chatting to a friend at a council. Oh, she probably didn't notice, or she probably would have found it amusing if you'd. So I um, I must admit, if I'm talking about dies as in die cutting. I do get a bit worried sometimes about some of the... I have to just double-check that I'm not going to be offending anybody in, in you know... Because you put die and... Oh, yeah, always worrying. Yeah, well, it looks like someone got mad at me because I said my battery had died in my phone. Oh. Uh, not long after my group died. Oh. Yeah, that's a difficult one. I need something to go on there. I need a little something. Uh, Margaret says she did that. My uh, my mum, who um, isn't with us, she died um, 18. 18 years ago. She had cancer. Um, you 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 absolutely have to laugh. And one of one of my uh, I say favourite memories because it just sounds an odd thing to say that. But one of the things that we laughed about was mum was having chemo and um, her hair started falling out. Uh, and I was I was with her at the time, and she was combing her hair, and and it, it would just it was coming out in clumps, and she had it in front of her, and uh, they have this beautiful cat called Charlie, and Charlie came and made a nest in it and settled down and made himself very comfortable, and I'll tell you, Mum just laughed, she just laughed so much at this cat and his complete insensitivity, but I think you know. <clears throat> There's always good memories. But that, that was decidedly insensitive on the part of the cat, I would say. Yeah, but have... that's cats full stop, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, if we ever died, uh... they'd eat us. They'd just eat us, yeah. That'd be all right for a few weeks. Yeah, um, I'm not under any illusions of what I mean to the cats. Absolutely zero, pretty much. Although they did miss me a bit, they, which they is surprising did. because it's you that feeds them. Yeah, well, well I, I feed them at lunchtime. I'll get now loving back. That's no, right. and you clean the litter and yeah. do all that stuff. And oh, yeah, no, 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 it's terrible, isn't it? It's pretty much like being married to me. I'll, I'll let you do your toilet thing. Go on your own bit. Eh? Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. Really? Oh, just don't. Too much. TMI. <laughs> I think I needed to have done some more, some more fussy cutting. Ken says uh, when her aunt was dying from cancer, she said they were going to taxidermy her uh, with a uh, crochet up in her hand. She had a sense of humour and yeah. Oh, God, yeah, my mum was just the same. My father's got a wicked sense of humour. He's um, an ex-teacher. He's not a teacher. Sorry, schoolmaster, my bad. And, uh, yeah, he's positively hilarious. But he's like, it's, it's sarcasm with me, Dad. Did I not have another B? I've lost a B. Uh, Dad apparently told um, this one lad who um, I'm still in touch with, actually. 
His birthday's the 19th of, of December. It's bizarre what you remember. Where's my other B? Um, anyway, um, he uh, he said that he's never forgotten um, my dad saying to him, I've probably told you this story, I think I have. Uh, my dad said to him, he said, uh, we'll call him Mr. Smith. He said, Mr. Smith, he said, you can write your knowledge of chemistry on the back of a postage stamp with a blunt telegraph pole. I, I, I find my dad hilarious. I'm not sure the boys did, but I do. Did. I think that's where I get it from. Sarcasm is uh, definitely my dad's thing. Why your dad says it as well. Yeah, when we got um when we got married, we had to go <laughs> we had to go to the uh, registry office and you know put in the paperwork and stuff. And I'd taken dad because dad was obviously walking me down the aisle, and uh, I wanted him to to have a look at the place, um you know, so that he'd, he'd know before the day. So we took dad, and obviously when we're signing the papers, um dad had to sit outside in the waiting area. He was with your brother, wasn't he? Yeah, I'm sure Mick was there. Yeah, yeah Mick, Mick, and. Yeah. Um, you know how they ask, uh, you know, what, what what's your parents' occupations? And I said to the registrar, I said, well, my father, um, I said, was a schoolmaster. I said, not a teacher. He was a schoolmaster because dad was always really precise about that. And he says, well, what's, what's the difference? I said, do you know what? I haven't got a clue. So I opened the door and I said to dad, I said, dad, what's the difference between like a teacher and a schoolmaster? And he grins, and I'll tell you, my dad has got the best grin in the world. And yep. he grins, and he just laughed, and he said, snobbery. He taught in a boys' school. Um, and, and it was just it was just so funny. I just, he's hilarious. He really is. Right, okay, so I've done my little, I like this one better than that one. I have, haven't I? So now I'm going to put my little... I don't know if I dare, call, I dare tell you. I'm going to have to start behaving myself now I'm on, on Graphic 45, aren't I? But I don't know if I dare tell you what Mark calls these little bulb pins. Actually, no, I can't tell you. Not in polite company. But... <laughs> it's, yeah. He, he, calls them, he calls them a rude, a rude phrase because they look... Whatever. Where's my pokey tool? Yeah. It rhymes with a uh, lock and call. Just don't. Anyway, we're, we're we're bringing out some little things, little kits, sort of like embellishment kits. And uh, we've been making them up. I've had, and I was just, we've just been sat in front of the TV making them up. And it involves some of these pins. And uh, Mark's just been being extremely rude about it. Of course, you've never laughed. No, I didn't laugh. It's not no. funny. It's very rude. Right, uh, I wanted to put the other one. Just not British. No, I'm going to put this one over here this time. Oh, oh no, I've bent it. Look what I've done to that. Oh, for um, goodness sake. Don't, bend, your, don't, um... don't bend them. No, you don't. Oh, never bend that. 
Where are my spares? Please tell me I've got some spares. I need a bigger hole. well do you know what i hope you if you've watched my um graphic 45 audition i hope you realize just how professional i was being <laughs> i didn't say anything that could have been misconstrued i don't know i'm sure i could pick something there. no i don't think you could actually i was very well behaved righty ho okay so that's done now that page is done so i need to decorate inside there which i'll do at some point and i need to decorate the back so what i said that we'd finish off by doing today are these little photo mats these ones that go in the backs um and uh we will um do that now so i'm going to cut mine out grab my trimmer oh i haven't put my lovely bits on hang on dad's got all my tweezers hasn't he yes because someone thought it would be a good idea to give them i didn't them. give them to him exactly you said they are dead you can have those no i things. didn't say that i i told him to look and choose i didn't intend that at all i didn't intend that he had them all I didn't give him my pokey tool, even though I think he had designs on it. Oh! <laughs> Apparently, D and Jen. Uh, oh, yeah, Jen has a uh, rude sense of humour. Oh, really? Oh, really, yes. Gosh, who knew? Oh, dear. I'm, I'm a saint. You're a saint? Yep. Are oh, you heck? Where did that go? Oh, it's stuck to me. These are really sticky and good. I don't believe that. <coughs> I'm hungry. There we go. Right. Where's my cutting guide? Here we go. So I want to cut four at four and one eighth by 11. So that means that you're going to get two out of one piece of A4 because they should both be. There we go. So that's two. Four and one eighth. Now there is method in this madness. That means that you'll be able to fit a standard size photo widthways, but you will probably have to cut it down uh, heightways thingy. Uh, okay, what did I say? By by what? Eleven and a half. Um, Ryan says, "Have you not had your dinner yet?" No, we're not very good at eating before class. We get sidetracked. Yeah, we, we, we had to. Oh well, we had to because I was leaving you. It was packing your bags and off. Yeah. Mm 
Okay. And then scoreboard. And we're going to score this exactly in half. So we want to be scoring on the 11 and a half inch side. So pop the 11 and a half inches at the top. Anybody know where I put my... Oh. <sighs> there it is. We are going to score at five and three quarters of an inch, which should be halfway. And it's the same on all four. So score on the 11 and a half inch side at five and three quarters of an inch. Oh, try and do it a bit more carefully than me. And we're going to fold on the score line, line it up, find our bone folders. Oh, here it is. And give that a right good uh, rub. And then you just want to decorate them. You've got loads and loads and loads of paper. So to be honest with you, you could go really fancy with these if you wanted to. Because you're not going to be short of paper at all. And then these slip into the, can either put them that way or I did them and put that over there like that on the back of each of your pages so next week what we'll do is we'll put our cover together we will make our hinges i'm going to use something called stack the deck which is by a lady called laura dennison absolutely brilliant piece of um hinging and you can find her at Follow the Paper Trail and I would thoroughly, thoroughly recommend you go and see what she's up to because it's just absolutely amazing, incredibly talented lady, absolutely fantastic. So go and have a look at her. I will see you tomorrow. We will see you tomorrow, hopefully, uh, over in Crafting Together with All Brands. I'll take some photos and uh, pop pop a resources list up and um, tomorrow we probably won't do much more than make our base pages so lots and lots of um a4 uh, no 12 by 12 card mm -hmm. and that i think is it for this evening so there we go have a great have a great weekend if we don't see you tomorrow um we'll see you soon Bye. Oh.